It's a top signal hill where tourists and residents alike will get one of the most beautiful views in the province. Site of the first transatlantic wireless transmission is now an iconic destination. But today it's harder to see. Parks Canada put up an almost three meter high fence that blocks the view. I guess Parks Canada feels like they can do whatever they want, I suppose, with this land that they, that they control. So it's just that it is part of St. John's and it's, that view is part of who we are and stuff like that. So it's bizarre that it's there and it's a shame. We think it should go. It, it's blocking the most beautiful view in the city. The, one of the, the public uproar forced the local MPs to get involved. I'm not even sure what you say uh, about it. It just doesn't keep with any of the character here and it's entirely unnecessary. Parks Canada built the fence to prevent close call accidents as traffic slows to see the view. But the Minister of Environment admitted today it wasn't in the right place. And now just days after going up, the fence is coming down. Newfoundland's own Rick Mercer couldn't be happier. Upset to find the fence while walking Signal Hill, he took to social media to complain and now applauds the government's reconsideration. They did the right thing. They listened to the people because literally everyone dislikes this fence. The acting mayor dislikes the fence. The local MP dislikes the fence. The people of Newfoundland and Labrador dislike the fence. I don't know who likes the fence. So uh, I would say that's great. You made a mistake. People make mistakes. I built a cabin. You wouldn't believe the mistakes I made, but you have to fix them. Officials say they received that signal loud and clear. Meg Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.